Hi, this is Christina Rodriguez of Diva by Design in Harlingen, Texas, and this is the Diva's Home. And today I'm talking about how your home or your office, where you work or live, can be used to support your goals, not just a place to be. But um, a lot of times we are disorganized, and when we're disorganized, that can lead to you know, spending too much time trying to find things that you need. Uh, I tend to, when I'm working, I build up all the stuff on my desk and about once a week I have to go through and of course clean it out because the piles get higher. I'm just like everybody else. I tend to just put it all where I'm working. But when I organize it, I can get started fresh. And that's always a good thing. Um, also, if you have a lot of unfinished projects around the house or maybe your home office is an unfinished project and you just haven't got it together yet, that can be really frustrating because you're trying to work and then you get distracted and lose focus because you have all this stuff laying around and you keep thinking, oh, I need to move that, oh, I need to fix that, and it can keep you from what you really need to do. And Another thing that I've seen and done probably is having things that you don't use anymore laying around. Uh, so many people, I mean, how many storage places are there out there? And how many, how many of you have storage full of stuff that you don't actually use? Uh, my question is, if you haven't used it in six months to a year, why are you keeping it? Um, I actually have a lot of stuff that I'm getting rid of this year because that, speaking of the goals yesterday, that is what one of my goals, another goal, I know I have a lot of goals, but, um, it's one of those things where you, you get rid of it and you make room for the new, you make room for your success. I mean, you're getting rid of the old and you're making room for the new. That's always a good thing. Um, another thing about where you spend your time, if it's full of negative memories or negative thoughts, things that you've experienced, make, getting, getting rid of those things you don't use, getting rid of things that make you feel bad when you look at them, bring up old bad memories, that kind of thing, getting rid of that, and that makes room for the positive. I guess a lot of what I'm talking about is getting rid of the old and making room for the new, uh, That it, it, starting fresh, and it makes it easier to focus on your goals because you don't have all of that coming in at you, and the last thing that I wanted to talk about was having too many things. It's the same kind of thing. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's stuff you don't use, but it might be things that you really don't need or you have more than one thing because you were disorganized and you had to keep buying things to because you couldn't find what you needed. I have done that. Uh, that's why I, I, I've been starting to clean out once a week just to make sure that I can find things. I'm actually doing this live video and I have my phone sitting in a cup. I have a tripod and a a thing that holds the phone. I don't even know what the name of it is to use to do these live videos. But for some reason, I either let one of my kids use it or when I was cleaning up, I misplaced it. One of these days I'll find it won't have to use the cup anymore. I just thought I'd share that with you that, you know, sometimes we could do what we got to do. But the better idea is to have a place for your things and put them in it. Get rid of what you don't need so you can find the things that you do. And all of this will, will help your home, your office. It will help you by supporting your goals, by having room for what the new things are that you need to do and get done. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope that made sense. Sometimes I, I 
ramble and lose my train of thought, but we'll see. Thanks for joining us, and have a great day.